right, welcome back to the Knives Fast channel, guys. I have done it. I am at Blade Show, as you can see. There you go, a look at Blade Show. I'll be updating throughout the day and posting this later in the day. This is Friday. I uh, just visited River's Edge Cutlery already. Those guys are awesome. Cannot wait uh, to show you more of the show as the day goes on and meet some people as well. Thanks for watching the Knives Fast channel. Just stay tuned, and this video is going to be slam packed. All right, folks, I'm now in the main hall, and as you can see, there are a lot of booths in here. I cannot wait to show you more. Here you go. I'm sure this is kind of shaky, but that's all cool. And this is gonna be an awesome day. Here's our friends at Smoky Mountain Life Works. And of course the Spider Co. booth is packed. And ladies and gentlemen, there he is, Dylan Mallory. And we have a prototype in front of us. Check out this thing. The name of it again was? The Forest. The Forest. And guys, I just want to show you this. Oh yeah. <laughs> this thing is beautiful. I am in love. Oh, I love the pocket clip too, brother. Very nice. Great to meet you. Say hi to JB from Big Red EDC. Hi, JB. <laughs> there you go. All right, guys. Look at this. Look at this. That's hilarious. We've got the whole gang. Swags, you don't have to hide. Say hello. Hi. Hey, there we go. And you've already heard from Dylan, so I'm just going to skip him. Here's Russell. What up? What up? Hey, man. What you, what you got to show me? All right. We got some cool stuff. All right. So let's go. Let's go with the designer stuff first. So. Let's take a look at this guy. This is a serious. I wonder who this is designed by. Yeah. Surprise, surprise. Ray Laconico. There you go. Another fantastic oh my front gosh. with us. That we is have, beautiful. We have two versions. This is kind of a... We love the Centauri. It's done really well. We love the shape of it. We love the design. But this is just a little bit more gentlemanly, a little more elegant. It's not small. This is a three and a half incher. Right. But it's got such a clean shape to it. Nice it's kind awesome. of lightweight, lightweight. I love the grind on that one. It's really nice and a lot more just kind of easy carry. This one has no thumb stud, but Ray also wanted to do a version that has thumb studs and is a liner lock. So full my cart on both sides, liner, thumb stud, same tie clip, little tie back spacer. Really classy carry. That's awesome. And the thumb stud is dialed in very much, very similar to the Rhea. So it really has a nice like snappy action. I love it. It's a very slick knife. That is a serious knife. Ha, ha, okay, ha, thanks. Ha, ha. <laughs> but no, I, I adore this. Yeah. Ray, Ray nailed the design. Like, you want something that's distinctively Ray. It's, how do yeah, you, very how much. How do you get that very distinct look in a knife that is very different from anything else he's really put out? This does not look like a lot of Ray's no. designs. It looks totally like one of Ray's designs. It's very him. And it's just like it's so cool. It's, it's awesome. so well done. And we really got the execution is just just right. Like it's thin, it's light. And it's micarta. Yeah, oh god, oh that green micarta is so good. <laughs> we actually have a, a red micarta one in there too. Yeah. And then we're we're seeing what people like more, the thumb set or the full time version. So we will we will find that out. But let's move on from that one because right? that's a series designed by Rayleigh. That's me right there. Oh yeah. The full tie. Oh, right. oh yeah. So let's go on to something that I'm actually really excited about because I didn't see these till yesterday. This is the Scorion. This is an in-house design. Okay. So this one kind of is a little plain looking at first. The blade is clean. I like the colors though. Oh yeah. Fairly clean shape, right? Right. Nice air goes. That's my car. Super thin. Yeah. Super thin. Centauri thin, should I say. Thinner. Yeah, thinner. thinner. Alright, now I gotta hold but it. But it's also super light. If you've heard of what Scoria, what is, what Scoria <laughs> is a type of rock produced in volcanic explosions. Sorry about that. As the rock cools and the air comes down and develops a lot of little tiny holes, we have milled the hell out of the inside of this guy. It is lightweight. With That's awesome. Thin it weight. is very light. Also full size finger choil. Yep. Really excellent air goes. This gives the Feldsmar a run for its money. 
and just that blade shape. Look at yeah. that blade. It's yep. not a small blade, but it's just a slice. Three and a half? Three, uh, yeah, three and a half. Depending on how you think of the choice. Right, right, right. But my God, this is so good. Also, tie clip. Yep. We might be doing the full production run with a regular steel clip. Okay. It's a tie clip, blind screwed. Look how clean that yeah. is. That's pretty awesome. So slick. And then we got this awesome. one. We just we just did this, but this is the most wild my card so I've I ever can, seen. I can hear JB from Big Red EDC screaming at the camera right now. It's oh, yeah. red. Oh yeah. No, I, I hear it. JB's gonna beautiful. be really mad about this. He's yeah. Gonna be like, what JB, you JB, this you don't get to hold it. I do. Here you go. I'll bring it to Bleed West. Ah, uh, dang it. Oh my gracious. That green pop is so wild in that color, guys. It's nuts. Check yes. that out. And that's a CJRB. That is. Yeah. All right, I'm very excited for this one. Me too. This has got my name written all over it with oh, yeah. that choil. You were like the seventh person who said that today. Oh, my gosh. still close to opening. All right, thanks. Appreciate it. No. <laughs> I would chase you down. <laughs> so is that a proto? Is that a proto. These okay. are the protos. These are protos. That's awesome. These are kind of protos. Right. So this one, you saw this one already. Yep, yep. But now it's changed. This is the Silax. We've got a few little modifications per Dylan's request. We've dropped the blade down a little bit kind of made it a little bit wider enlarge this choil here yep, and it's yep. an even better general purpose knife that's awesome and uh i am really excited to get this in the kitchen because this looks like a great general kitchen knife i've been using grab, the original grab so the original real quick and let's Actually, see that, that's one of the i didn't okay. bring the original that one's that is one not one. okay okay but this has been such a good user that's awesome i mean i've been using yeah, it for so long i chopped so much stuff up with it when i had it so yeah really good it's great. So we're still getting the sheets on. This guy should be coming out soon. Okay. But we, uh, since we do our sheets out of, out of house, we do a nice, like, clean Kydex. We want to make sure they're done right. And we are very excited for this guy. And it's CJRB now, that guys. Is. We moved so, over to the CJRB. That's like, awesome. That's a little small change. Yeah. And I'm very excited oh, about this. Here we this go. One. So this one's an interesting one. This one is kind of a, we're calling this the Mallory Choice version of the Centros. This is the first version of the small Centros. <laughs> Polished black micarta, tie pivot collar, tie clip, RPM 9 blade, 3 inch version. It is small, it is easy to carry, it's EDC friendly, but it does not sacrifice on all those really cool things about the Centros. Yep. This does not feel like a small knife in it. It's very capable. It's not light, it's not some it's not wimpy, and man, it just it's so yep. it's so elegant. Yeah, I felt it earlier, and it felt wonderful in my hands. So good. So good. Yeah, it's... Guys, you can see, it fills your hand really well. But it's small. It's awesome. It's going to be really good for people that do just like a two-finger choil right here. You get that nice two-finger position. I got a little extra space here, but someone who's got larger fingers, it becomes a really comfortable three-finger slash like three and a half. I'm doing a solid four. And I got pretty much a medium sized glove. Yep. This is a great That's size. That's awesome. It is a fantastic size. That's awesome. And then and then speaking of size. Oh yeah. Go right. uh, no, you're good, we're done with it. So because everyone loves this one so much, because people just lost their mind over this thing, and because some people just don't really want small knives. This is the Tigress. We got it out a few a few weeks ago. It's shipping. It's available now. This is a beefy, burly, overbuilt, unabashedly big knife. I, I, I'm i just like, unabashedly big is my tagline for this thing. Yep. It really is. That's it's awesome. chunky. We did mill out the insides to reduce the weight a bit. I don't think anyone's going to mind because, come on. The weight on this thing is ridiculous. Right, thing. right. It's a big knife. Slab RPM knife. We have two versions. We have the blue, black, red, and we have a white, black, red. Right. With a, yep. the, the blue, is a, this one has the Keep black finish. The other one's got a satin finish. <laughs> and this is just such a monster piece. That's awesome. Handle grips you back. It has got such a good shape to the handle. It just, ah. Yeah, you so folks cool. that watch the channel know that I love this guy. Yeah. <laughs> so. It's fun. It's fun. Uh, yep. This will go into my collection. Yeah. All right, man. Oh, we got one more. Oh, yeah. Actually, that's, that was supposed to be here, but hey, we're working yeah, on the we, Silex. We've actually reviewed Sorry. this one, history, so yeah. So, yeah. Uh, still working on that one. It's going to come out soon. Probably might come along. So this guy might be a little bit later. We're just keeping this one of the yards in line. That's awesome. But that one's coming out. Oh, that's right. I forgot one more thing that I should bring out. I'll just pull mine out of the pocket. Aha. The Arian, ladies and gentlemen. Full tie Arian. Oh, my goodness. All right. Yeah. Holy With cow. A matte finish blade. And... It, the, the weight is perfect. Yep. Oh my gosh. It's about uh, five ounces heavier than the micarta one. 
So it brings it yeah. more into like a, a four and a half ounce instead of the three and a half for the micarta one. Yeah. It's, it's not a it's not no a, longer a lightweight knife because the last one was pretty much a perfect weight ratio. This is a little heavier, but I actually like the. Yeah, I do too. This. I do too. I think this performs a little better. And yeah. This is what I've been carrying for the show, and I am very happy with That's it. That's awesome, man. That we have a, the green micarta version with the the uh, the matte finish blade, so that is out now as well. And these are all available. It's awesome. Well, Russell, thank you so much, man. You're it's welcome. so great to see you Absolutely. and for you guys to show me something. For Dylan, showing me some of these knives. Appreciate it. And, uh, guys, more to come on Blade Show today. As you can see, i got a long ways to go. Uh, but I've, I, I've had a blast spending time with you guys, so great, thanks. All right. You. Guys, I'm here with TC What's from up? Smoky Mountain Knife Works. I mean, I just saw Dylan Mallory and uh, Russell from Artisan Cutlery. And now we got Isaac and TC from Smoky Mountain Knife Works. How exciting is that? You guys know I love Smoky Mountain Knife Works. Uh, after you guys did the video, the tour the other day, I'm like, I was there six months ago, <laughs> but I gotta go again because it's totally different. It's already changed. How and, dare you? Yeah, well, I mean, we gotta keep it new, we gotta, gotta keep it fresh, we gotta keep it coming back. Well, the funny thing is my wife, you guys added some extra stuff, and my wife's like, I wanna go back. And I'm like, yeah, so yes. my wife loves to come with me, but she likes some of the extra stuff you right. guys have, so. And when you can convince the better half, that just makes right. the whole trip that much easier. So, so uh, anything specific here? guys are drilling in on today or we're uh, just you whatever what? you see we're getting around and trying to talk to everybody all the big players and uh, all the people that we've got relationships with gotcha. and um, to see what's new coming out awesome. and uh, and really inform everybody out there and we appreciate you guys like you yeah man um, getting the stuff out there and getting the product out there and the news out there and joining in with us on the chats and stuff like that and I enjoy that man um, I mean, we appreciate guys like you more than you know so, thanks Thanks, man. We I appreciate, appreciate it. it. And uh, hopefully we'll run into you guys later on in the show, too, and see what you found that uh, that I missed. So, Absolutely. <laughs> all right. Dude. Thanks a lot. Take it easy, all right. All right, guys. Guess what? We're at Jake Hoback's booth. That's right. And not only were you at Jake Hoback's booth, booth, if I can talk. Oh, man. We're with Jake. <laughs> and, uh, Jake, I was just telling you guys, I really appreciate you guys sending me the Enoch to review. Had a viewer reach out and say, you got to look at this knife. I had no idea. We As a matter of fact, it. I think I told Bill, yeah. I didn't think I would like it. I love the way that handle fits in my hand. I'm not just saying that because you're here. Appreciate um, it. So what are you guys showing today? What's uh, what's, what's new got, and moving for you? We're a little slim pickings. It's, yeah. uh, it's been a good show. Uh, but, you know, Blade Show, we try to bring a little bit of everything. Right. Anyway we can. Uh, so we've got the ever popular Sumo. Uh, we've got their three flavors got the stone wash my personal favorites with favorite with the uh, the gold accents we've got the blue accent with the bead blast and the satin That's blade awesome. and then we've got the purple one that one's been a fan favorite i'm not huge on color but everybody's convinced me that i actually have to you have to do color, color every life. once in a while i don't know so let's see but, so you say this one's your favorite so we're going to show yeah. this guy so so uh what tell tell me a little bit about this one in your design so the sumo this guy yeah so Button lock for you guys that are unfamiliar. Button lock flipper. It's got a micro flicker flipper tab on the back here with Psalm 23. Let's yeah, there you go. Get that focus. I even know the hand gesture. Uh, but with the front facing camera, I don't know. Right, 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 right. Uh, so then we have flipper tab. You can slow roll it with the pocket in the blade, but then you can also flick it open out of your pocket uh, if you put it in the inseam and catch. On the edge of your pocket, you can okay. It open. Okay, um, DLC black coating, I'm all out finish. Man, that's awesome. And then stonewash blade. That's and the gold access, that's, gold that's sweet. Access. Gives a little bit of pop. Uh, the purple one, I really like how the purple anodizing turned out on these guys. That is the lighting so in the, here so is the backspacer's titanium. Yeah. Titanium that's clip, awesome. backspacer, thumb stud, and pivot so that we can anodize them all the same uh, that's color. Awesome. So this one is pretty nice. That was, uh, it's always a challenge for me to make something really pretty. And, yeah. and guys, by the way, I middle finger flicked yeah. that one. Uh, approved. <laughs> Very much so. I can do it, you yeah. can do it. Both with the thumb stud and the, the uh, slot. So yeah. Yes. Yeah, yep. they definitely flick well. Button yeah. lock flippers are nice. They're, yeah. They definitely very, it takes all nice. that lock pressure off the blade and it just flops yep. around. Uh, 
brought a couple of, we found, we actually found a couple of the original uh, back slip, our first slip joint that we did in the okay. way back version. So this is the back slip. So this is a uh, slip joint version for Very those of slim, you yeah. in uh, Gentleman's Carry there. Gentleman's yeah. Carry. Very, very nice. Thin, and I love very the thin profile blade, very of it. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. Uh, not my normal, but definitely uh, pretty fun to do. Yep. We brought a Radford with the Mexican blanket G Carta on there. That's and awesome. That's a very popular uh, yeah. My Carta G10. And that one is a frame lock. Yep. Yep. Very frame nice. lock on that. That's nice. Oh, there you go. So it's showing off now, ladies oh, and gentlemen. Oh yeah. Well, that's <laughs> cool, guys. If uh, if you're around Blade Show. Come see Jake. I'm going to be posting this Friday, so come out Saturday, come out Sunday. Come oh, wait a minute. Us. Oh, wait. Wait we a got minute. Somebody's wielding machetes here, so I'll back up and make sure I don't cut anybody next to me because these things are ridiculous. So, AEBL stainless okay, steel. Okay, I was going to say, what's the on material? The, on the steel on these, and these are crazy sharp. Do we have a piece of paper back there, Bill? Looking for paper. Guys, Jake Hoback is about to cut paper with a machete on the Knives Fast Show. Yeah. So, you don't see this everywhere. It should your machete should be should be very sharp. Oh my gosh! So. Yeah, the only problem I have with machetes is I can't ever figure out how to strop them. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Carefully. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and it's tough to fit in the I just leave it. You could have a yeah. like a pile of paper here. By the <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Well, Jake, it's really good to, to get to, to meet by, you man. and and uh, guys, be looking for more stuff from Jake. Uh, we're going to talk about maybe something else to review down the road, awesome. and that would be awesome. So. Sounds good. Appreciate Thanks, guys. We'll see you in a minute. Hey, guys, look at these crazy people I found. <laughs> and that guy. And that guy. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's the day. Oh, yeah, man. It's the day. Oh, yeah, man. It's it's snoot him. <laughs> oh, the... Okay. All right. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, this is uh, Kevin and Kyle. You guys know them. Yeah. Well, here, if, if you're following me, then you're already following them. So, what you guys seen that's any good? Hoback uh, Sumo, man. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get sumo. one. I took, I, it, I took him to the Hoback booth, and I'm killing myself for spending money and not getting a sumo. He and now sold he's it. Gonna, he so, sold it. so, so Kevin, far. Kevin's gonna get a sumo, and he's gonna send it to me to look at. So yeah. that's what's going. <laughs> there we go. Right. And we picked up a couple of 80, 20.5 yep. for other people, for other but we got to check them out. All right. we're, we're still even halfway done to this place, so we got a right. lot to go. All right, well, I'm not going to keep them because they need to keep going. <laughs> and uh, you guys don't want to see too much of them anyway. No, you wait, don't. Wait, wait. And, and wait, should, wait. Put back on next. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and, should, and should we tell him this is his new nickname? Yes. Oh, God. This is the Detent Diva, everyone. Detent <laughs> Diva. We're going to have shirts made. Cheers. Yep, we're going to have shirts made. All right. Later. All right, guys, we're here with Ben from uh, Jack Wolf Knives, and he's just going to kind of tell us what they got to offer and what's kind of different about them. Thanks for allowing me the time to talk to you. My name is Ben Belkin. I'm with Jack Wolf Knives. We're doing traditional knives out of modern materials, slip joints. So our knives have M390 steel, hollow ground, 15 thousandths behind the edge. The liners and bolsters are integral, made from titanium. The scales are micarta. We'll also have other scale options at the time of production. These are prototypes. We brought them here to the show to get feedback from users and to spread the word on what we're doing. It's awesome. They all feature a half stop. Everything is beautifully centered. Springs are flush in all three positions. That's awesome. And guys, they've got a ton of different models. Whoops, sorry about that. Can't do it justice, but they've got a bunch of different ones here. Go ahead. Yeah, so I've got seven models. This okay. is a Swayback Jack. We call it the Laidback Jack. It's got a Warncliffe blade. Big, long swedge. One bolster. We've got... A dog leg, we call it the canine jack. This is the one I really like, guys. We've got a spear point blade. We've got the vampire jack. It's a coffin shape. It's got a spear point blade. Almost like a dagger blade. Yeah, yeah. Very this cool. This was the gun stock. We call it the sharpshooter jack. This is the little bro. It's 
three and a half inches closed. There's a four inch version coming out called the Big Bro. Just That's scaled awesome. up. Nice clip point blade. This is the low drag jack. It's a bullet end jack, also known as a teardrop. It has a big fat spear blade on it. Man, listen to that snap, guys. Last but not least, the Venom Jack. It's like a Warncliffe Trapper. Big, long Warncliffe blade, very thin behind the edge. That's awesome. And then I'll just show you briefly our packaging yeah. concept. You all might be familiar with Great Eastern Cutlery. You'll get that, or other American traditional knives will come in a cardboard tube. We're doing aluminum tubes with the screw cap. Inside, it'll be a 12 inch by 12 inch microfiber cloth with the knife wrapped up inside. It'll also include a leather carry slip, three stickers in there, two logo stickers and one sticker that's unique to the production run. I'm working with a comic book artist named Sean Tiffany who's done work for Marvel to bring my package concepts to life. We designed a character named Jack Wolf. He's featured on all the labels. Yeah. And what we're doing that's unique is every time we do a production run, we're going to change the artwork. So the tube is a collectible. The sticker inside is a collectible. When I reproduce the knife, I'm going to change something about the knife. So instead of a crescent nick, maybe it has a long pole. Instead of a clip point blade, maybe it has a spear point blade. Instead of one flute, maybe it has two flutes or some combination thereof. So we're keeping it awesome. interesting with every production That's really run. cool. And you said Riot is who's making these? Riot's the manufacturer. Yeah. They're all designed in-house by me. Um, but I have a lot of feedback from other collector yeah. friends to help me get these things just right. Awesome. We hope to have them available in the fourth quarter of this year. As I said, these are prototypes. We're just kind of working out the kinks. <laughs> price point will be around $275 for the base models. And anything with premium materials will be priced up accordingly. Right. Guys, I'm telling you. These things are really done well. Uh, he's saying there's kinks to work out. I hate. I, I would hate to guess what they are because I haven't found any. So they're not. Uh, they're, they're little things that some yeah. of the diehard slip joint guys might notice. Right. And so, which which all of you know, I'm definitely not that guy. <laughs> but but these caught my attention, so I wanted to come back and talk to you. Uh, appreciate your time, guys. Be looking for them late this year. Yeah. Thank you very much. I appreciate you coming along and peace. Thanks. All right, guys, so I kind of walked away from Blade Show without doing a final segment. So here it is uh, from the lake, which is really cool. Um, everybody asked what I was carrying at Blade Show today. So what I brought from home was my SIG uh, K320 and my Monterey Bay Knives. Whoa, mini old guard. My hands are apparently fumbling. Uh, I came away with two knives. So first I went to... Uh, TRM's booth to say thank you to uh, Marianne and I ended up finding uh, one of the coveted and hard to find Adams. So I bought myself a TRM Adam in the tidal wave pattern here. Really, really cool knife. I know I've already reviewed it, but I'll probably do a quick little look at this one with these micarta scales, G Carta scales, I guess they call them. And then I went over to Andrew, Dim Andrew Dimco's booth and got the AD 20.5 shark's foot with the uh, shark lock. Uh, guys, I've heard a lot of people talking about these and talking about how fidgety and fun they are. I had no idea. I really dig this guy. Uh, love the shape of the blade. Cannot wait to review it for you. Uh, really cool packaging. Even has this really awesome uh, pouch with the uh, shark lock uh, logo on there. And believe it or not, they gave me a ton of these stickers to put in swag packs. I've got stickers from Dylan Mallory. I've got stickers from, oh, I got a bunch of stickers, guys. I got you, I got you covered with stickers. I uh, ran into uh, a lot of good people today, a lot of great viewers, and had a blast. So for those of you that I talked to today, Christopher's Tanks, uh, a guy named Tim. Oh, boy, I'm going to forget one. There was one more person I ran into today, and I have forgotten your name. Uh, but I thank you guys for coming up and saying hi to me. It really made me feel cool. And, uh, that's it guys. So, uh, again, give me a comment. Let me know what you think. Give me a thumbs up and thanks so much for watching the knives fast channel.